Yeah, Mick Bowen, uh, successful here in Parnell Park, uh, through to the quarterfinals of the All Ireland. Um, we happy with your team's performance today? Yeah, we were. Um, I, thought, I thought it took us a little bit of time to settle into it. We weren't happy with the opener 12 minutes. We found ourselves shapeless and didn't think our movement was good, but it improved. And I have to say, I was happy with the second half. They were more clinical and the uh, movement patterns developed. But we've said this uh, all along. Like it's your you know, our third game in whatever 14 weeks it does take games to find that harmony and playing together and nothing you do on the train ground is comparative to playing uh, competitive fixtures so that's that's all part of it uh, we're, we're you know we've a big week ahead of us now please god whatever it is Westmead or Kerry on bank holiday monday so and it's the first to knock out stages uh, you made a couple of changes just at the start of the second half. What was your thinking behind that? Yeah, well, we were obviously, you know, obviously Monaghan are going through a tough patch. They're a proud county and I'm sure they'll bounce back. But uh, the opportunity is there. We've a lot of people fighting to try and get into the team at the moment and you have to give them chances. Uh, so, you know, in one or two situations, it might have been that we were looking for a little bit more from players and certainly the other opportunity for players to put their hands up and play and, I think they did. I think the, there was an impact from the bench again today, so that's what we're looking for. Uh, look, Mon- Monaghan, as you say, going through a bad patch. Um, you know, double or red hot favourites coming into this. Um, is it hard to get up for a game like that? It, the, the, it's not that I suppose that's hard to get up for it. It's hard to not let the game get scrappy uh, and to stick to what you're trying to achieve. That's probably the bit because it's. Uh, it's much easier to remain focused uh, when you're at the pillar or collar. Uh, and I think that's the part that slips in that people, uh, that mental switch on in, in big games can become lax. And as a result of that, the knock-on effect is, is a messy game. So, look, I, th- I think we addressed it. Uh, I certainly feel the second half was a lot better than... You know, I don't think the game actually. I know you might, if you were watching it, just sit and think, okay, with well, the scoreline. But we didn't stop, and that's that. That's an important factor. Yeah, once the, the ball started being moved uh, a lot quicker through the lines, um, you really opened up Monaghan. Yeah, and that's that. That's the point. It's better decision making. You know, sharper movement, and you know, as we know, we're going to come up against better defensive setups, and obviously, uh, it'll be more competitive. But still, I, I, for what you know, I think we got out of it as much as we possibly could. As you say, a week, a week away, it's either it's either Kerry or um, Westmead. You've already played Westmead. Um, would you prefer? To get Westmead again, or, or no, would you like would you like to get I, I, a, a to be different honest, team? You'd prefer to get new, new opposition. That's no disrespect to Westmead. If it was the other way around and we played Kerry, you'd be saying the exact same thing. It's just the freshness of it all. But we're not in control of it. Okay, thanks, <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>